No, I'm not going back to prison. I've been in prison over 37 years of my life. 37 years? You ever seen the movie The Town? I have not. Well, that movie's about me. They watched the movie. Ben Affleck plays me in the movie. William Sequeria. How's it going? Three tickets. I don't know how I got them. They just showed up in the mailbox. Imagine that. Somebody, huh? somebody put three tickets in his mailbox, Inspector Carrigan. After he ran the red lights. Yeah, I, I get that. What are you well, talking I work for a produce company. Get, get, produce. Close, get close to the mic, please. I work for a produce company. And uh, sometimes I'm late getting to work or trying to get to work, so sometimes, you know, maybe that has to do with it. What do you do? You deliver produce? Yeah. But I ain't getting no hours right now with this corona. We only get 20 hours. I only get 20 hours a week. All the drivers get like 20 hours. What do you do with your markets? I was in prison 30 years. This guy gave me a job when I got out. I was in federal prison for 30 years. He gave me a job two years ago. I've been out, out two years. You, you've been out of prison for two years? I was in federal prison for 30 years for bank robbery. This guy gave me a job. So I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to do the right thing, work, you know what I mean? But it's hard with this corona, you ain't getting no hours, you can't, you're barely paying the rent right now. Have you made up your mind that you're not going back? No, I'm not going back to prison. I've been in prison over 37 years of my life. 37 years? Yeah, I was in state prison for seven years too. But I was in federal prison for 31 years. You ever seen the movie The Town? I have not. Well, that movie's about me, they watched the movie. Ben Affleck plays me in the movie. Tell me about it. That's a true story. Tell me, tell me, tell me what the movie's about. It's about guys out of Charlestown, Boston, who rob banks and army trucks. But you learned your lesson, huh? Well, I used to have a lot of money. Now I'm broke. I got to work for a living. You don't make much money. Well, you made a lot of money because you were robbing banks. I used to have a lot of money. I realized when I got busted, I had a half a million dollars in my refrigerator. In your refrigerator? Yeah. Half a million bucks. I had five hundred thousand in my refrigerator. I used to keep it in milk containers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. I swear to God. What happened to that money? They took all that money, man. Who, the feds? Yeah. Well, it didn't belong to you. It's the money you stole for the bank. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It was, all, it was all free money, you know what I mean? What's the biggest score you made robbing a bank? Four or five hundred thousand. Really? Yeah? Yeah. Well, now I know why you were in jail for 30 years. I went to prison for robbing a bank in Cranston and had the highest, largest police chase in Rhode Island history. Oh, yeah. That's they, true, too. Were, were they chasing you on foot or in a car? In a car. Oh. They caught you? Yeah, they captured us near the Connecticut border in 95. Oh, they caught you? They, they uh, crashed he, our car. That's how we got caught. It was, was a crazy was, time back then. He was a good bank robber. He was a terrible driver. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to charge you 150 bucks. But uh, what I'm going to do is... Again, I'm going to repeat that I get donations from all over the country. You get what? I get donations from all over the country. People yeah. making, oh, that's good. People do that. Making contributions for me to use if I think someone deserves a break. I'm proud of you because you've turned your life around, right? And I think you're going to continue to do it. So I'm going to charge you 150 And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a $150 check from Chuck Shaheen, who's the former mayor of... Charleston Maps. No. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. No, Charleston no, no, no. ain't like it used to be. Warner Robbins in Georgia. And he actually appointed judges who he wanted to be fair and firm. So he wants me to use his 150 to help someone who I think needs a break. That's pretty good. You need a break. Tell him I appreciate it. Good looking out. Well, good luck to you.